It's good to have you with us as we begin our journey exploring the complex relationships that we humans have with our environment. There is, of course, going to be differences in what we think such a topic should cover, the scope of the area. We might begin by looking at the wild places in our natural world and move on to look at more human-built areas of cities and suburbs. And of course, we can move beyond all of that and look at the new frontiers that are opened up by our information and technology. These topics are important and interesting in and of themselves. But really, they're only small steps on a much larger journey. Journey of understanding the unique place that we humans hold within the environment and the role that we have in shaping it as we move into the future. From the outset, we can identify three guiding principles that will shape our journey throughout this unit. Foremost of these is that the Earth, our environment, is the only suitable habitat that we have. And we exist in a complex interdependency with this environment. Second, we humans have had a profound effect on the environment within which we live. And we will continue to have such an impact as we move into the future. Lastly, our capacity for conscious awareness provides us with the ability to identify problems and implement solutions for better ways of living in relationship with the world. In other words, we can behave in ways that actually promote the health of the environment on which we depend. And so, the main theme that we're going to develop within this unit is that of change. Change based on an understanding the relationship that we have with the environment. Within this, we'll also be exploring what constitutes the environment itself. Moving from a largely physical understanding, looking at the physical spaces that we occupy, the things that we build and create, to also include the less tangible aspects of our environment, such as social interactions and cultural forces. We'll also be considering the internal mental and physical context of the human being. As we set off, the objective of this first module is to answer three key questions. Questions which we'll continue to explore and expand as we move through the unit. The first and most fundamental question is, what actually is the environment? The second question is, how do we go about understanding and analyzing our environment with the view to identifying key areas for change. Our third question is, what are the environmental domains that influence and determine our behavior?